hello welcome back in, in my last video i talked on version control systems what is git what is github uh, what is centralized version control system what is distributed version control system so let me talk on how we how we can install git and how we can create account on github.com okay so installing git uh, it's pretty easy you just need to download the exe from uh, this git for windows.org okay so if I go to one second, I'll simply search install git. The very first link I should get. Okay, so th this git is cm com. Okay, and here you will find install for Windows installing for windows okay so here you can find the url gtscm.com download windows okay and you can download the respective setup for your if it is 32 bit or your 64 bit okay so you can download and you can save and you can install so installing it just as like how we install our normal software just run it as administrator and click next 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 it will get installed install it with all default option no need to change anywhere just do the installation with all default options if you are using linux or mac open your terminal and just hit this command it will download git for you okay that's pretty easy in linux via terminal so that's pretty easy how we can install git now the second step now why we use git git is used to achieve the distributed version control system operations all the operations which are there in distributed version control systems like uh, cloning the code then pushing my code adding code so something like that all those operations will be done by using this software which is called git okay and once git is installed you can find something called as git bash you you will find two things git bash and git gui okay two things so if you open this git bash git bash is your uh, it is just like your command prompt here you can find it is just like your command prompt whereas if you check for this git gui it, it is uh, having ui which is used to perform all the operations which will be doing uh, by using this git bash okay so there are two things you can do it by, by using this command prompt which is called as git bash the other option is by using this git gui where you can perform the operations by using drag and drop okay but personally i feel doing the operation via git bash is quite easy and the good practice okay so this is the git bash which will be used for performing your all the operations which we need in distributed version control system and i got this git bash once i installed git from this url fine now you have installed git which can manage your code you, it can track all the changes but where it will save code the code you need to save on github.com okay so if you go to your browser and just github.com if you just go to github.com uh, since i already logged in let me log out okay if you go here on github.com you can find options for your sign up and sign in if you already have account well and good if no then you can simply sign up by filling this information username password and all okay it's it's pretty easy to perform the sign up okay and plan you can choose the plan of the free plan but that your repository will be public if you want private repository then you need to take a paid plan okay uh, if you are using free then all your code can be viewed by anyone that is private sorry public okay so public is free private is paid okay so i have my repository i'll just log in i have already created the account so i'll just log in with my username and password 
and you can see I have many repositories okay so I have some sample repositories demo project one API test Zira client Maven project and this and this okay fine so uh, this is the place github.com is the place where I'll be storing all my code with the help of this git bash okay so whatever code I have uh, created over here for these two projects I am going to add that code onto github.com over here right so fine so that's it for this uh, video uh, I'll talk on this git lifecycle in my coming video thank you